This video will explain and demonstrate the collinear constraint. Collinear sketch constraints can be used with lines, linear edges, reference lines, and axes. They can be used within the same sketch, but are often used to constrain lines and nodes to previously created features in the model. If you wish to set two rectangles to share the same height and baseline, they could be dimensioned with zero dimensions to align their tops and bottoms, but that would clutter the sketch with a lot of unnecessary dimensions. A better way is to use the collinear sketch constraint. First, the collinear constraint is selected, then the top edge of the first rectangle, and then the top edge of the other rectangle. You have to clear the current selection by either pressing the Escape key or by left-clicking in the workspace. If you don't clear the selection set, the next line you select will attempt to be collinear with the last item that was selected. Now we can select the two bottom edges of the rectangles. In this example, you can clearly see that the order of selection is important. The first item selected is the baseline or anchor which remains stationary. The second line selected moves to be in line with the first item selected. Now this is true if the sketches have degrees of freedom to move. If they are dimensioned or constrained already, say with a fixed constraint for example, then the selection order may be irrelevant. As mentioned a few moments ago, collinear constraints can be used within the same sketch but are often used to constrain lines and nodes to previously created features in the model. Here's a demonstration of a practical application of a collinear constraint. You've just learned that collinear constraints can only be used with lines and edges, but are a very useful tool to align edges and lines to each other along the same vector. You also learned how the sequence of selection affects the results.